Hi ladies, how are you? Okay, so I'm back for a TTC update and unfortunately it's not good news and I am going to try and get through it without a crying. Okay, so <clears throat> on Wednesday I did a OPK and a home pregnancy test because I was packing and I found them and I thought what the hell, I'll just amuse myself. And at that point, I was, yeah, 10 DPO. And it's like when you get to that 10 DPO um, point, it's hard not to test anyway. But anyway, I did a test. And the OPK was really dark, but it was a BFN on the pregnancy test, which was kind of alarming for me because the, I had a pregnant shot on that Saturday and it was already out of my system by Wednesday. Um... So I started feeling really, like, teary from that day onwards because I kind of knew it was a fail. Um, and then Thursday, which was yesterday, I just knew, like, I woke up Thursday morning and I just was teary and I just couldn't stop crying. And I've kind of been like that ever since. Um, so I was just really teary and emotional. And it was just a really bad day. Like, everything went wrong that day. And, like, I even stepped on a nail and it went in my foot. And so it was painful. And But I just knew that I wasn't pregnant. Like, I had no symptoms at all. Any symptoms I did have went away and, I don't know, you just know. As a woman, you just know. And so I knew I wasn't pregnant. And it was just the fact that I knew and it was like, you know, you go through all that process. Like, I've been on back-to-back -back drugs since June, like Clomid and, um, now I've gone blank, Clomid and, um, oh, Excuse me. Um, yeah, I, I can't even think. Hang on. Provera. <laughs> so Clomid, Provera, injections. I've done all. I've done been. You know, I've done all that. And then I've gone through an IUI. And like it, you know, they I ovulated. You know, even though it might have been only one egg, I ovulated and. We had low sperm count, but, you know, it only takes one, as they say. And so it didn't work and it failed and I just knew. And then that evening I got my AF. So, and it came on pretty heavy and strong straight away. I had no spotting lead up or anything like I normally do. So, um, and I was like 12 DPO. No, 10, let me tell you, yeah, 12 DPO, something like that. Um, so it was like right on cue. I normally get AF between 10 to 12 DPO. I've got a very short luteal phase, phase as well. So it's just so, so heartbreaking. As you know, and as you can imagine when you've been TTC for a long time, and like my doctor, he was so confident, and my husband was really confident. And I, you know, I really tried to stay positive the whole time. And, um, but you know, I just knew, um, I just knew, and I was right. You know, you've been doing it for a long enough time to know, um, when it's not worked. So unfortunately I'm on to another cycle, um, cycle day two, and it's a forced break cycle, my fertility specialist. And uh, my doctor doesn't want to do anything this cycle because I've been on so many dr drugs back to back. So he's just leaving me this cycle. So, you know, knowing me, I'll probably still 
try, but without any kind of medical help. And I'll, you know, I don't think I'll do OPKs. There's no point. Like, I get positive OPKs, but I don't ovulate. I don't release an egg. I just have LH surges. So there's no point doing OPKs anyway. I enjoy doing them because I like peeing on a stick, but there's no point. Like, it's just false hope. So I probably won't do them. Um, so I hope I'm not going to be boring you all this month because there's not really much to talk about because there's going to be a break cycle. And I won't have the internet for a while because I'm in the middle of moving house. Like, today's Friday, so today, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I'll be constantly moving. And then I'll be backwards and forwards to, to like, this house to get this ready, this house ready to get the keys back and try to unpack and all that sort of stuff. So it's going to be mayhem for about a week and get my internet reconnected to the new house and all that sort of stuff. But I definitely wanted to just come on and do a video to let you all know where I am and um, I'm sorry for crying <laughs> I didn't want to cry but I've just been so teary and I think it's because you're so used to like sucking it up and like for me I gotta suck it up and hold it in all the time and be strong and in for my kids and for my husband and I don't like when he's here I don't cry but when he like he's at work I break down because I try and be strong for him and the kids and to not let it, you know, eat at me because you, know, you can't walk around crying all day in front of your kids and um, it's so hard and this is so heartbreaking because like it's three, year, three years which I know is not long for many and you know like I'm going to get criticism, I always get criticism because I have children and I'm blessed and I know this already, so please don't criticise me for crying because I'm trying for my rainbow baby and I've already got children, so I shouldn't be upset. Don't criticise me or judge me. I've had enough of that. It still hurts whether you have children or not. It's still a long journey and it still hurts. So when you go through so many um, procedures and take so much drugs and high hopes and you diet and you lose weight and you do everything possible and like they say you're healthy and there's no reason why you can't get pregnant and yet you can't get pregnant. It just stops like to go from having no trouble to constantly having miscarriages when I do fall pregnant or can't get pregnant anymore and it's like why no one still can't give me an answer all they tell me is like I'm PCOS and that's it that's the only reason and my husband's low sperm count which I only found out better um now I'm rambling so I'm sorry it's long and withdrawn um I'll end it now and I'll update you as soon as I can but it'll probably be boring so I'm going to apologise in advance and um, thank you again for all your support. It means so much to me to have friends that understand, like Corey, and um, you're so sweet and you're amazing and you're so strong as well and I'm so glad that we're friends and I can talk to you. It's wonderful. So hi. <laughs> and um. So many of you out there, like, you know, message me and, like, the support is amazing. It definitely outweighs the criticism, so thank you so much. And um, I shall talk to you all again soon. Bye.